uh, these big assemblies like this that we can see in a stadium in the south of Brazil. And citizens come and they start to say what are their needs. They decide on the priorities they vote, so it's kind of like a offline crowdsourcing effort in which citizens will decide where the money should go. And then those decisions, after they vote, the government, the municipal government or the state government will execute it. Of course, after citizens do that, they will also follow where the money goes. So there's also a dimension of transparency. So here you have a city in Brazil, and basically the mayor paints the budget on the walls of the city, saying where the money comes from on the first line, and last one, where the money is going to. So we talk, talk a lot about that we should go where the people are, and then sometimes we think of social media, but people are on the streets as well, so it is a good thing. Um, participatory budgeting actually, uh, even though it's not very well known, uh, it's quite widespread. In 2010, there were about 1470 participatory budgetings around the world. Now in 2013, the latest estimates are about uh, 200, 2,500 participatory budgeting spread around the world, including in the United States, uh, Chicago, Vallejo in California, and New York. But why does it matter? So participatory budgeting has been around for quite a while. So there's, it's probably one of the participatory governance innovations that have been the most studied. You go to Google Scholar, you put participatory budgeting, and you're going to be shocked how many evaluations have been made. So we do have some knowledge about it. And here, that's what a brief literature of review would show you. When participatory budgeting is well done, first of all, it can lead to reduction in tax evasion. I've had this very own experience in the Democratic Republic of Congo. What happens is that when citizens start to do that they cannot do more because the state does not have enough money, they might be more willing to pay taxes. Also, they start to see where the money goes. So you have several experiences where you see a reduction of tax evasion. Improved budget planning and evaluation budgets.